British Prime Minister Keir Starmer has said that rioters across England and Northern Ireland can expect to be rapidly processed through the courts. After chairing his second emergency coordination meeting with police chiefs in as many days, Starmer has said that he expects substantive sentencing of the rioters within days. Well, this comes a week after an explosion of violence blamed on right-wing extremists. The riots began last Tuesday following the arrest of Axel Rudakubana at the stabbing case of the three girls in Southport. Well, the violence erupted after social media posts said that the suspected attacker was a radical Islamist who had just arrived in Britain as an asylum seeker. James Nelson of Bolton is reported to be the first person to be jailed for his part in the riots. He's been convicted of causing criminal damage in the town and given a two-month prison sentence. As per reports, there are at least 30 potential gatherings planned for Wednesday that police are aware of, but they believe that the situation is manageable. More than 400 arrests have been made so far after days of disorder in various cities across the country. Around 100 people have already been charged. Stormer has praised the robust and swift response of the criminal justice system, adding he expects sentencing of those involved by the end of the week. The PM also told reporters that this should send a very powerful message to anybody involved, either directly or online. Nigel Farage, leader of the opposition Reform UK party, has said on social media that he does not support street protests, violence or thuggery in any way. Farage has also proposed a plan to stop the rioting. It involves ending mass immigration and getting all police chiefs across the UK together and asking them to start policing even-handedly. Well, for more on this, we're joined by our correspondent, John Bevere, live from Bristol. John, good to see you this morning. Uh, an immense challenge for Sir Keir Starmer early on in his reign as Prime Minister. Just give us your sense of the significance of what he's been saying and also the wider challenge of this enveloping situation here in Britain. Yeah, it certainly is a huge challenge, isn't it? And like you say, it's a challenge that the Prime Minister is facing very early on. Uh, in his new role uh, and certainly something uh, that you uh, certainly would not have expected him ha to have to deal with so early on either. We know that uh, the issue of immigration has been huge in this country for many years. Uh, the previous Conservative government had it as one of their benchmark policies, the plan to end small boats, as they called it, and to stop illegal immigration. Uh, they failed to do that. And of course, the controversial Rwanda asylum scheme, where they were looking uh, to send asylum seekers to Rwanda and to uh, process some claims there. That never happened either. So it's something that has been building in the public consciousness for many months, if not years. And we have seen it spill over. But I think it's worth pointing out that as far as the police are concerned, that actually much of the legitimate protesting has gone away. And what this is being replaced with, we've heard the word from Keir Starmer, from the police, from the Home Secretary of Cooper as well, is thuggery and that these are thugs who are going out onto the street and are looking to cause trouble and to basically pick a fight, whether that is with uh, the police or with counter protesters who support a more diverse and uh, multicultural Britain. And it seems that for a lot of these people, they are going out looking to cause trouble. And that is the definition and the distinction that Keir Starmer is very much saying is the case here, that although legitimate protests are welcomed, what we've seen over the last few days especially has been people going out looking to cause that trouble, looking to cause violence. And that's what we heard Keir Starmer talking about and promising that the full force of the law would be brought against them and that they will face the criminal justice system here in the UK very swiftly indeed. Yeah, and that brings me on to my next question. What's been put in place so that these criminals can be processed quickly? And of course, we've been hearing in recent weeks about just how full Britain's jails are. So it's, a, it's not just as easy as arresting people. There's an enormous amount that needs to happen from the moment of arrest to actually punishing these people, isn't there? 
Yeah, there is. And the, the uh, criminal justice system here in the UK is very well defined. It follows very set patterns. So from the moment somebody is arrested, they then have to appear in court uh, within a couple of days. And from that point, uh, either they can be dealt with at the lowest court, the magistrate's court, if it is a minor offence. And we have seen some of these uh, rioters that they're sometimes being called, protesters, as they might call themselves. Uh, but we've seen a couple of them sentenced already from the magistrate's court. Now, the magistrate's court is only able to deal with the more minor offences. There is a very strict limit to how long they can impose a custodial sentence on somebody. So from there the magistrate has the option to send the case up to the Crown Court and that will delay things. So that is where we have delays because the case then has to go to the Crown Court and if the person involved pleads not guilty, well, then that's when a full trial has to happen. Uh, we will see the gathering of evidence from both sides and that could take many weeks, if not months, before all of that happens. So for some of these more serious offences, it will be months until these people are either found guilty or found innocent. But for the more minor offences, certainly uh, they're looking to process them. But what Keir Starmer is saying and what the police are saying as well is that nobody is going to be ignored in this. Just because there might be 100 people involved in the violence, don't think that you can stand at the back and be one of them who gets away with it. They say, the police say, and the government say as well, as well they will come after everybody. So, of course, officers in the UK have body cameras. There's a lot of CCTV in city centres as well. So they say they will be going after everybody involved and they want to put that out there as a warning. And as you pointed out as well, actually, they are also likely to go after people who've been inciting uh, hatred, as it's put, online as well. So not just people who are there, but maybe some of the uh, people provoking it behind the scenes as well. So certainly a very clear message from the government, from the police, that this won't be tolerated and that this needs to stop. Absolutely. Let's hope the situation calms down soon. John Bevere joining us live there from Bristol. Many thanks.